number 66. What happens to delta G? Does it become more negative or more positive for the following chemical reactions when the partial pressure of oxygen is increased? So here we have the equation HGO solid yields HD liquid plus O2 gas. Now, in here, they're saying that the partial pressure of oxygen has increased. And here's oxygen right here, O2 is oxygen. And we know that the pressure of oxygen, partial pressure just means you're talking about only one substance. So the pressure of oxygen has increased. But now what does that mean in terms of delta G? Well, keep in mind, anytime that you disrupt equilibrium, you got to get it back. This is going back to Le Chatelier's principles. I wrote them down here just for a kind of little bit of a refresher. But in this case, we are increasing our amount of O2. So we're increasing our amount. Well, what does that mean? Well, you have too much, right? You disrupted equilibrium. You have way too much of oxygen now. So what's going to happen? Well, you're going to shift to the opposite side. That means that since I'm increasing on my product side, the reaction has to shift to the other side. So in this case, since my increase is on the product side, I'm going to go backwards and I'm basically going in the reverse direction. But what does this have to do with the delta G being more negative or more positive? Well, this comes back to spontaneity, right? If a reaction is spontaneous or not spontaneous. If a reaction is spontaneous, that means that it's always producing the products, right? If you're producing the products, you don't need any additional extra help to get this to happen. However, if you're fighting, which is our situation, the reaction is trying to go backwards. It's fighting to go backwards. But we, you know, if you want it to be spontaneous, you have to make it run forwards. So if you're going against the grain, that means that you need a additional energy source to turn this around and go this way. If you need that extra push, that means that this reaction is non-spontaneous. So you can always think that, you know, reactions going in the reverse direction are non-spontaneous, reactions going in the forward is spontaneous. And non-spontaneous is always linked with the delta G of being a positive value. So what's going to happen to the delta G? Is it going to become more positive or more negative? Yeah, it's definitely going to become more positive. And that is the answer to this question. How easy was that, right? What'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. Um, yeah, this has been a fun chapter. Um, stay tuned for more to come. I really hope that this is helping you, you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys and let's, let's keep learning. Let's keep having fun in chemistry. Well, I mean, who has fun in chemistry, right? But anyway, um, thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in more lessons. Okay, bye-bye.